and there is a fourth of them. Uh, but this is the first one to be organized in collaboration. Uh, because this is an event that we agreed to do in collaboration with the Consulate General of Italy in Kolkata. Uh, with which I have had the personal privilege and honor of working several times uh, in my previous tenure at the Victoria Memorial Hall. But this is the first time that we are collaborating with the Consulate and I'm sure that this is not the last we'll have many more. Uh, and <coughs> for bringing this collaboration, uh, we are very thankful to my old friend, the Honorable Consul General of Italy in Kolkata, Dr. Gianluca uh, uh, who has made the habit of bringing in several leading uh, authors, historians, artists, art historians, scholars from Italy. Uh, so, this one, so we start, we wanted to have an event featuring somebody, some Italian icon. And so we were very fortunate to know who, who, who is better than Leonardo da Vinci. So, I mean, it was a, it was a great occasion to be able to host her uh, in the Alipur Museum. This is also the first lecture here, which is purely on art, which is very appropriate because we have art galleries in the Alipur Museum. So that's all I have to say. Chiara Rostani, you know, I mean, she has already been introduced, professor, director, restorer, architect, whatever, everything and more. But uh, I would ask her to talk about the Last Supper, but to sort of give us also the more general framework of Leonardo da Vinci, his work, maybe his other famous pieces, and uh, of course I know you are interested also in the restoration part, so I think you can uh, go on for maybe 30-40 minutes so that we can keep uh, some time also for Q&A from our part. Leonhard, in a simple room, in a, for the convent, outside for the city walls. And we have this painting, a wall painting, a very fragile talent. Let me say, it was finished at the desert two before, at the beginning of 1498. And 15, 15, 18, we will know from historical document that it started to be damaged because of the tenants. But we, all of you, well know that Leonardo was a genius who was in science. So he chose specifically that tenants because he would like to achieve perfection. He has no mind, he has no idea in the way to preserve it. But he would like to change forever half history with his way. People, let me say, started to visit this uh, refectory also when he was there painting. So I, when I was a director, I used to say, this is a natural war museum. Because the museum was born when Leonardo stands. Uh, stayed there for eight years, painting this masterpiece. So let me remind some and we have that. So in the middle we have Christ. I have to tell you, because it was represented as a human. And that was very strong. Also because the friars Dominica, in Catholic Dominica, Dominican friars are very orthodox. So he was very strong with when he proposed this kind of thing. Because it not seems the holy son. It's right. just a man. It's just a man. And he chose a holy gospel of John. And here we have a specific moment of the holy uh, the in which Christ for us said, Very, very, 
one of you should be clear. And what we have, can, we can see, is the reaction of the apostle to this sentence. It's very uncommon. And that's the reason why he would like to represent just a man. Oh, we all know that everyone of us for sure was betrayed one time in his life. So to me, that's one of the reasons why this faith could talk to everyone, because he's talking about a man alone after betrayal. And he's alone, he's without any movement, and he's in the middle of the composition of the painting. Painting was composed with the perfection of geometry of the space, and in the head, uh, the head of Christ here, we have the hole um, where Leonardo decided to put the focus for the geometrical construction of the composition. And we can see for the first time in the Easter art that movement, that uh, the reaction, that soul become a part of the paint. And that's the reason why he chose a different tense, because he would like to have time. We will know from historical documents that he spends four days there, as I told you before. Sometimes he spent all day long just looking to the painting, adding one, two lines. In other days, he spends all day drawing, painting, moving, without any stop. So it was a very strong experience, and it was not possible to die the fresco. Fresco up, fresco seems that you have to work uh, very, very, very uh, on day or uh, all the day. You have to finish the part of the painting in the day because you can work on the um, on the surface only if water is inside. After one day, there's no water and the day is finished. So you cannot have the opportunity to work on it again. Little elements you can correct, but it's done. That was not possible for me. He would like to have time, he would like to have uh, to work slowly, he would like to change uh, in the achievement of the so it took a different things. I would like to just to remember in a few words the elements of the composition. Here, look, this is Jane, okay? Jane is the greater. And look, uh, we have a lot of sketching uh, taken by Leonardo Vinci sketch because he's the opening is hard in his way. Like he say, no, because it, it's very Italian painting because you can understand the meanings, you can the hands, you can the expression of the voice. So, uh, as God helps us to understand, he seems to say, no, I don't want to believe in it. And look at Thomas. Huh? Thomas is there is he, in this expression because we will know that from the Holy Ghost, but that he said, I cannot believe it. I don't want to believe it until I can put my finger inside your body. But at the same time, he seemed to say, it's a Lord that designed that for us. And here, one of the most beautiful elements in heart history, this is Philip. He seems to say, no, Master, not me. Tell me that I'm not the betrayer. And look at this. This is very Italian. He's meant to. And he seems to go back to Judas and not Judas the betrayer. That is he and other Judas and they were here and Simon. That are talking very slowly because you know they are in age. And Leonardo da Vinci would like to express that when you have experience, 
when we have the experience of the life, we can face anything. So that's the reason why they seem quiet. They seem not to be a part of all the elements uh, of the movie. The map that you said that it, it seems a kind of music that starting from the uh, expression of Christ involved all the early uh, people in the niche. This is one of the most unbelievable compositions in a painting. Because uh, Leonardo would like to have John and Peter. Many times people ask to me if the male or female is John. John was uh, almost 15 years old. And Leonardo chose represent him in this way because uh, for him at that age a young man is uh, the expression of the perfection of beauty and he said it's a moment in the life of a young man when he did not understand if it's a male and male it doesn't matter you can see the perfection of the beauty. So we represent him in this way before I show you his hand on the table, waiting to understand that he was completing. We even know the truth. And he was the youngest and uh, Christ in our tradition took a lot of care of him. And here we have Peter. Look, remember the hand that I showed you before? Using the sketch, and let me say, for the first time in history of art, Leonardo chose to have. Here, Judah, the betrayer, is he here? He has a harp on the holy table, and he has in his hand a bag with the money received from the Roman for the betrayer. And he, unbelievable, during the medieval time, during and the uh, Ottoman prince, you always be far from Christ, far from Holy Table. No, Leonardo would like to put here, close to Christ, not only close to the most important people in the uh, real life of Christ, John and Peter, at the end, before the death, in our tradition. Christ said to John, John, to the only mother, John, this is your mother, mother, this is your son. So he was a young man on which he decided to leave his mother. And Peter, Peter, Pietra, you are a stone which I will build my church. And where well, I decided to, to have the place for betrayal close to the most important. That was done because the Almighty would like to stress that in your life, sometimes you have to fix something or be really strong. And you can be true also from the people that are close to you. And he was to stress also this in this thing. Here you have two, three elements very interesting. We have a real we have uh, uh, James at the dinner, look at this hand, seems to look for the help. He was young, he was so young as John, but he was young, so he was not able to face alone. So he tried to ask him up to Peter. And after he seems to stand up, stand up, because he would like to have a strong reaction. How many faiths from him? is survived in only few lines, only in a wall paint. And painting began immediately a part of the heritage of humanity. And at the beginning of the 16th century, it was the most copied uh, uh, painting in the world. And all the young artists started to try to copy it, to understand it, to uh, 
try to understand the words of Leonardo da Vinci. And at the same time, he started to become damaged. And that was very strong. Let me say that that is so strong for a nowadays. You will know it was stored um, about nine times during, during five uh, centuries. Nine times, more than nine times. But in 1978, something happened. And some parts of the painting fell down. So the Italian Minister of Culture decided with the committee decided to do something really unbelievable, but there was no choice to remove all the layer after three five centuries and to back to the original world. This was done because it was impossible to preserve all the layers. Uh, of course, it was possible, but otherwise it was impossible to find again the original layer of Leonardo da Vinci. So, a woman, Pilina Villa Barcellona, followed by a, a committee and the Italian Minister of Culture, she spent there 22 years working on the surface of the painting, working daily on a one centimeter square, square centimeter on surface, working daily on the meat. Because she told me she spent two years ago, when I was the director, every morning, every Monday morning, she used to back to the museum, look at me, and my, uh, to my way to take care of his <laughs> and then to help us to, uh, to be in good, uh, um, to be good, in good way, to a good approach for the preservation of the so she spent there 20 years. She wrote a beautiful book before to die, named My Life with Leonardo da Vinci. Because she spent a lot of time during the yard, 22 years, daily, daily there. They were taking care of Leonardo. And then, after 1999, again, following for the preventive preservation, then, Hi, I'm Aprajita from Radio Newtown and we have Tiara Rostano. Uh, we heard a sensitive, huge information about the Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, now I would like to ask you about your feelings about this seminar. I'm very glad to be here in uh, Kolkata and uh, to have this conference and uh, all the uh, people around uh, with a lot of attention on Leonardo da Vinci masterpieces and uh, the art history. It was very uh, emotional for me to be here. It's not my first time in India, but the first time in Kolkata. Beautiful city, beautiful people, and I'm really enjoy and grateful to have me here. Uh, you like the city of Joy, Kolkata? I, I just arrived yesterday, but uh, I would like to visit uh, and uh, to well know your beautiful heritage. I, I love uh, Indian heritage, I'm so interested, love your museum uh, and uh, grateful for everyone.